Okay. So that means they took all my stuff out and put it in the building. So it's definitely got to be her because she's okay. the only person that had access to the building. Ma'am, you have, you, you gotta be kidding me. We both suspect it was, it's Marilyn. This battle with Marilyn, the world's worst landlord, has been going on for almost two years now. Yeah, two years. And if you wanna see how the whole story has unfolded, we have a whole playlist here on the channel. Worst landlord ever, Marilyn Raby. You can click on that right here on the channel. You will not believe, you will absolutely not believe what happened today. Theft, trespassing, you name it, it's all in it. Marilyn was suing her business partner, Brian. And as a side effect, she was suing me amongst other tenants as well. We haven't really shared the story of the other tenants, but we have shared our own personal story as we're personal vloggers. Now, we agreed with Marilyn to remove ourselves and our property from the warehouse space by June 7th under three conditions. Number one, we had a key. Number two, we had power. Number three, we had working, running water. And then, as such, as was worded, we were supposed to have in a certain amount of time. So it couldn't be she turned the water on June 6th and then June 7th we had to be out. That's not the way it works in the legal world, okay? So here's what we did do. We sold three trailers. One of them we sold to Brian, her former business partner. And all of a sudden, Brian shows up to pick up his trailer and it's gone. Not only is his trailer gone, it's stolen. So it's a box truck from a former tenant. So we, we just came back to the warehouse because Jeremy had called us earlier today that said that Brian's trailer had gotten stolen. But we wanted to see if we could still get into the um, the warehouse. So I'm gonna go over here. They cut the locks off it, but I wanted to show you what they did. But it looks like they, they, um, they cut it off with like the thingy again, but it's so messy. <laughs> it's crazy. It's probably your Brian in the background. On the phone. Yeah, look at this. But they had to cut it off again. Yeah, they left this thing up. And they actually cut like, the. This part. Like, you can't even put a lock on it now. Yeah, they cut this part. That's weird. I know, you can't move this. So they definitely latched it on the inside, maybe yeah. locked it or something. Yeah. Oh, the cop is here. He rode on his bike. Yo, the cop is here on a bike. That's, That's kind of wild. I'm <laughs> not sure I've ever seen that except for in Columbus. <laughs> Ugh. All right, so the cop is here. I had a eight by twenty trailer sitting here, enclosed trailer, full of stuff. Actually, this stuff here was inside of it, and this thing was inside of it. It's gone. There was a box truck on the side of the building that belonged to one of the guys who used to be tenant. His box truck is gone. The locks on these buildings have been cut off and changed. There's, we've been going through litigation with the owner of the property. Okay. And okay. Based have you on contacted this, the owner of the property yet? No. Okay, because this sounds, I'll be honest, it sounds civil. Um, can you contact the owner of the property while I'm we're here? Not, we're not supposed to have con any contact with, with the owner okay. of the property. Do you have a phone number for the owner of the property? Um, I'll be glad to contact them. I don't think I have. Do you guys have Marilyn's phone number? No. I don't think I do. Either. Who is it? Marilyn Raby. R A B R A B Y R A B Y. I'm sure the police when, have their number because when did uh, when were you last here? Uh, well, the guy across the street told me like the day before yesterday, and he told me that he had an uh, air compressor for me to fill the tire. So I was sitting here then because I, I had a couple flat tires on. So. Okay. And he said he saw people over here the other day. He did? Yeah. Like, what, did he say what they were doing? I mean, they were they cleaning out the property? He said he saw stuff being cleaned out. Clearly, they've been in this property because the locks have been cut off of it. So, okay. it's not coincidence that stuff in and out of the property has been taken. Okay. And, locks, and the locks have been changed. because Is there any sort of use. litigation going on right now between you and them? And, and Well, I dropped out of the litigation, but they were still in with the gentleman that was leasing this property, Jeremy Hales. Okay. And all his stuff is still in this building, which they have cut the locks off this and changed the locks. So it's obvious that it's all through them. Okay. 
Okay, have you talked to Jeremy? Yeah, I just called him. He's in Florida though. Is, he didn't. He didn't take your stuff. No, Jeremy, no. He's in Florida. It would be us if he's, we took it. Too, we worked with him. Okay. Okay. All right. Marilyn Raby. Yes. He does, he just sent it to us. But yeah. I'm sure Jeremy does. I, I had it on my other phone. I just got the well, phone last week. So he, he copies over there talking to Marilyn or me. Somebody. So So while he's on the phone with that person, we'll go check to see if this key works, which I know it doesn't. That's fine. Oh shoot, I, I fell. <laughs> So this was the last key that Marilyn sent us. It was supposed to work. Sorry, my phone's out because Jeremy was sending me the vid or the phone number for Marilyn. But if I turn it like that, it doesn't open. If I turn it this way, it oh. opens. Are you serious, patients? How you, oh. Do you not know how this lock works? Apparently not. Well, apparently we have. Oh shoot! There's another cop. Go it's over there. It's 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 it. It. Well, like, the door does definitely open. Yeah, you do. I, I had a feeling you messed that up. <laughs> False alarm, guys. <laughs> then there's another guy who had a box truck on the side of the building. He had a box truck on the side of the building. Well, we do have access to the building, but that's just us. But they still cut the one lock off. The Worcester police were called for one thing and one thing only. That is criminal activity, the theft of a trailer, and the theft of a box truck. Now here's what typically happens with local authorities and police. They cross over that jurisdiction line into civil issues and oftentimes use threats and oftentimes use lies to actually manipulate or to create fear in an individual. And if you continue to watch, you're going to see all of that. Do you have the title with you? I no, I don't have it. Okay. Um, it's an 8x20 enclosed trailer. Do okay. you know the brand or anything? No. Okay. Can you, when you get the title, can, when you, can you call the police department? Um, ask for me, it's Officer McConnell. Uh, it, it should have the VIN on it. The yeah. title should have the VIN. Um, it wasn't plated, you said? Okay. I mean, um, I've moved it since I bought it off there. I, I, I want the van, I need the van and the, and the type and, uh, of trailer it is or the model of trailer, manufacturer, whatever it is. Is it black? Yes. With, okay. The black. Um, you got nothing special about it that's going to make it stand out. It's just a nice, it's in pretty good shape, my understanding. It's a nice trailer. One of the fenders is kind of messed up. Okay. I think it was the left one, right? If you're looking at it, yeah. Yeah. From the if you're looking at it from the front or the back, from the front. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, all right. Until I hear again from her, I, I, I don't know exactly where where this is going to go. I mean, at the very least, because they don't know anything about the trailer which is going to be odd, but if they don't know anything about the trailer, what I'll end up having to do is uh, put in, uh, in the computer system a stolen trailer. And so if it turns up, obviously, somewhere down the road, well, or it you, turns up in her... You in, want to take a look at the inside of the building and see that all my, all my properties inside their buildings? Yeah, I can in just a second. Absolutely. Yeah, give me just a second. So, Brian, how you feeling? <laughs> I'm not happy camper. I just came down here to get my merchandise and everything's gone and... Uh, well, actually, all my merchandise has actually been moved inside the property. So, the cops think that Marilyn's staying the day and take my trailer, but coincidence is that all my stuff is now inside her, her property. Yeah. I don't think the thieves took my trailer, but took all the stuff and put it in a building. That's kind of weird. I like this guy's bike, though. <laughs> Pay special attention here, right here. Uh, it should have the VIN on it. The yeah. title should have the VIN. Uh, 
This is Brandon, the owner of the box truck, a former tenant as well. But frankly, Marilyn never knew about Brandon. He was leasing space for his box truck, $25 a month. And Marilyn didn't know because she was in a partnership with Brian. Brian ran the entirety of the business. Remember, Marilyn was a partner. She already settled in court with Brian. Brian got all rents all rents received as part of the settlement, including any rent that Brandon paid to store his box truck there. You, you want to go in with me real quick and show me where you're talking about? I'm just going to stop in the back of the crib. All this stuff is in the back of the crib. Okay. And then your, your dolly got moved from one building to the other and put in with Mr. Hale. This, this, this one's mine, but it's the other building. It was with water. She had, it was she had water. The, she had the power and the water off. She, she never turned, turned the power, the power on. No water back on. All this stuff was mine. And this was in the back of the trailer? Yes. Okay. All this stuff, all those totes. This is Jeremy's bay. That's why. Okay. I and all this stuff was in the back of the trailer. Not everything in here. All no, this. I'm saying this stuff right here. This right here, okay. this right here. Well, clearly, um, yeah, somebody obviously then, brought it inside from outside that's my dolly that which i had in the other building so okay okay yeah none of this and makes, this was maryland's bay which okay. is now open which was locked so okay yeah none of this makes sense and none of her stuff is missing or moved because this stuff is all here there's nothing been taken out of here so okay what's in the blue thing back there yeah. tarps maryland used to sell commercial oh. truck tarps okay okay so. well yeah, All right, let's, you uh, think that's coincidence that my stuff's been brought in? No, I'm not disagreeing with you. I mean, I can't disagree with that. I mean, there's obviously a story here. Um, and I wasn't fighting anything. I just, like I said, I didn't have access to the property. That stuff's mine, too. So that was in my trailer, too. Okay, so let's lock it up and just clear out of here for now. And then I'll give you a call, uh, sir, when I figure something out here. Okay? Thank you. Appreciate it. My, my guess is, is that more than likely um, it's going to be a civil issue and Mr. Uh, Mr. Hales is going to end up having to take up the issue with the trailer with her. But if for some reason it turns out it just randomly disappeared from the property, which I don't think that's what happened, but if it did... I don't, think believe, I don't think you believe that for a second. All my we'll, stuff is put inside the building. I don't think you believe get, that for a second. We'll, get Aaron stolen. <laughs> we'll take care of it if we, if we can't take heads and tails of it, okay? So that's it. A few things to note here that are going to be extremely important moving forward. Number one, the police officer actually invited the individuals to go into the warehouse. He said, will you come inside with me? Why don't you come inside with me? Number two, the second officer has never, ever exited the vehicle. And you're going to find out why here shortly. Number three, there is a court order. Remember, Marilyn had to perform three acts for me to remove myself by June 7th. She had to re give me a key. She had to turn the water on and turn the lights on. Water was not on. And the verbiage in that court order by the judge says, by a reasonable amount of time to give me a substantial amount of time to actually remove my items. The water wasn't turned on until June 15th, which means I'm still a legal tenant. So this has been going on for some time. Yeah, a couple of years. Okay. Um, no, 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 nothing pending where you were supposed to have it out, st your stuff off the property by a certain date or anything? They were supposed to have their stuff off by the 7th, but she was in, she was supposed to have the utilities turned back on she had. That was part of the negotiations. So they were fighting that out in court still. And Who's they? I, Jeremy and... Maryland. Okay, what was your... Uh, I think they just thought, because the, the trailer used to be Jeremy's, I bought it off of them. So they probably assumed that, that was Jeremy's, and I think because they took everything. Uh, are you guys missing anything on the inside? I mean, we haven't looked, really. Okay. They've definitely been in there, because Maryland's side's been opened. Yeah. Until we talk to Maryland, there's probably not much we're going to be able to do here. I'm trying to figure out. Hey, Sarah, this is uh, one again. Can you uh, just tell me that phone number she didn't answer? It looks like he's been taken out of Jeremy's, though. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was like Maryland's side is opened. Can your guys just keep working? Yeah, she just didn't realize. Well, they brought this work. over. Yeah, I don't know what the heck that is. That was actually in my bag. I gotta go over and see if my stuff is missing there. And that's my dolly. Did you guys have, even have a lock on that or no? Yeah. No. But there's definitely stuff that's they, been moved in here. Yeah, they moved a lot of stuff in here. Wait, what's all this stuff? Is this stuff that you kept in your trailer? This is all stuff from my trailer. Yep. So they thought it was Jeremy's and put it back in here. This is all my stuff. That's crazy. Why did they take the trailer? So they took, they left my stuff and took the trailer. What the heck? They, well, which they means, probably, I want the trailer. It's definitely them because they, put it they in wouldn't here. have brought this they, stuff in. They would have just thrown it out and just... Yeah. But if somebody had access to the building, so. Well, that's not coincidence either. Mm -mm. So they be just, why'd they take the trailer? Yeah, for real. Yeah, there's my security cameras. Yeah, that's all my stuff. Are you getting all this? Somebody came to the warehouse, cut the external locks off of the bay doors, opened the bay doors, cut the locks off of a trailer I sold Brian, emptied everything out of that trailer, a 20 foot cargo trailer, put it into the bay, which I lease, then stole the trailer and stole Brandon's box truck. Now keep in mind that other cop, she's still in her car, refusing to get out and you're gonna find out why. Building. Okay. So that means they took all my stuff out and put it in the building. So it's definitely got to be her because she's okay. the only person that had access to the building. Okay. So then just my trailer's missing. Do you have the license plate on the trailer, sir? No, I, ju I literally just bought that off of Jeremy. Did so, they have a plate on it, do you know? No. He took his trailer? He took his on it, yeah. I have a title to it, but I don't have a plate on it. And they also took the box truck that was on the side, which you know, that did have a plate on it. Yeah. Uh, his name is Brandon. I don't remember his last name. That's who I was actually talking to when you got here. He's on his way from Britain right now. Can you see if Jeremy has a good phone since he's been dealing with her, if he has a good phone number? Did well, you guys want to see Patient Maryland? What's that phone number he gave you? my trailer wasn't here. He thought I got, he actually said he thought I came and got it Sunday. Because wow. he said he saw people working over here. Well, they definitely thought it was Jeremy's trailer. Yeah. Because yeah. they put it back into his section. Yep. Yeah. So it doesn't make any sense why they took the trailer, though. No. They could just put like a sticker on it, like, please leave or move this. Something like that. I don't know why they took it, because they were saying he was past his due date for being out, so they Did could he figure. No. He said he was supposed to have his stuff out by the 7th, though. Yeah, but that was negotiated based on the fact that she was supposed to get utilities turned back on so they could have power and utilities. I know this has been a mess for a long time, for several years now. It's just not getting any better. Well, like I said, I'd, I'd gotten out of it, so. But that was my the smartest thing you do, but I'm Is this the trailer? You your stuff out of I think your best interest to get everything out of here, this sounds like a mess. Not like, 
it's not the trailer. It's not. It looks like it. <laughs> it looks like it, but that's not it. The door's open sideways. I was like, oh, like, <laughs> I was like this like, one we just really drove back. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, is this the trailer? Now Jeremy's suing Marilyn. She she her, she had no longer had a case against him, so just Jeremy suing her. She originally started the whole thing. Jeez. Okay. She sued you then too. Yes. I don't know anything about that. When was that? I, I, I never heard anything about that. Show cause hearing. Um, did you ever have to go to a show cause hearing? No. No? That's the drop back to. Yesterday? Did you not go to court yesterday? I never got anything about anything to do with court. That is a mess. It'd be a lot easier if this lady would answer her phone. Doug Drusel is her lawyer if you want to contact him. No, he sold to me because I needed a trailer to move all my stuff. Officers are not lawyers and are not judges. And here you see this female officer in Worcester starting to cross that line of her jurisdiction or her actual authority. She's reading an actual contempt of court, a motion filed, and here she's telling Brian that you were supposed to be in court yesterday. You had a court hearing yesterday. No. Marilyn's lawyer lied and said that I was in contempt of court and that Marilyn had all the utilities on. I filed a contempt of court the day after that Marilyn lied and didn't have the utilities on. Remember that substantial amount of time to remove? You can't read a court order that was agreed upon. A judge didn't just court order it. It was agreed upon that if one, two, and three happened, keys, lights, and water happened, then I would move out and I had to have substantial amount of time by June 7th. All this officer can do is look at June 7th. Now, she's been a major mess in Worcester. I've never heard a positive thing about her from anybody, even positive people. So here she is jumping over her lines of jurisdiction going, June 7th, June 7th, June 7th, June 7th. You forgot the whole part there that says substantial amount of time under these conditions, and you've screwed it all up. You're not a lawyer. You're not a judge. You're a police officer on criminal activity, and it only gets worse from here. He's he, talking to Jeremy right now. No, they didn't go in the building. Once the... Yep, he's recording me right now. Yeah, there's a police officer in front of me and then there's one to the right of me. No. Do you want me to get closer to her? Okay.
want to talk to the police officer? Jeremy Hale. We're going off the court order. She, the she said that she's going off the court order. But does that any say like that they will provide utilities or anything? Or they, they just never did. Is that just like I don't know how that, I don't know how this works. But. It probably has. Why though? Because we weren't we weren't here. Oh, we didn't get the key back. Is that the reason? Because that'd be the only thing that we could think of because we haven't been here since the 7th. I don't know. Uh, Jeremy wants to know if you're going to call him. She said nope. Okay, he wants to talk to you. Is that okay? <laughs> Jeremy, it's Officer Chu. Right, what's up? Well, we're, we're trying to figure that out exactly right now. Okay, so there's a court order. I'm that aware. If you turned utilities back on, I would be out on June 7th. She did not have utilities back on. And that was based on a reasonable amount of time after the utilities were turned back on. She's in contempt of court, and that has been filed. And therefore, I have not left based on that court order. Well, not she filed a contempt against you. Yes, she did. She filed sanctions yesterday. I'm aware. Damn. I'm looking at it right now. Okay, so so this is a civil issue. We are not trespassing. We are still legal tenants based on, and so are my employees are legal tenants. So there is no such thing as a no trespass on a legal tenant. Listen, that would be for a listen to Jeremy, 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 listen, listen. At, at this point, until something's ruled on, you guys are not allowed here. The and last... You have the ruling in your hands that says... The Jeremy, I'm not going to argue with you. Here we go again. Officer trying to be a judge. She says all of this stuff about the court order. Oh, I'm a legal tenant until I am legally evicted. Until a judge says that I'm trespassing. Now what you don't know is they've already threatened my employees and you're gonna see more of that as well. So here she is trying to put herself in the position of a judge. She's not a judge. Unless there's a court order for me to be gone, I am a legal tenant. Period. You don't sit there and threaten the individual who's a legal tenant. Your job is to protect and to serve. You weren't even called about trespassing. You were called about theft. That's it. Theft of a trailer and theft of a box truck. That's it. Ma'am, you have you, you gotta be kidding me. Hey, she gave me the phone back. going to try to get a hold of her and have her call call us he seems to think that that she didn't take the trailer or the box truck that's what he thinks he thinks that she probably didn't take it that she didn't have any reason to take it and now I, obviously your stuff being inside the building is weird but it's possible that someone unloaded and it's all in jeremy's bed or there's multiple other things in there but they actually put it in jeremy's bed you can see my dog is actually in this building and it's not in this building Somebody who had access to both buildings. Yeah, but there's stuff around. It's and and he's around. not disputing that. He said it's very likely that Marilyn's son or whatever, whoever she's using, took stuff and moved it into, into there. It's very likely. The trailer was also locked, so somebody cut my locks off the trailer. So it's very, it's very likely, like, that she, like she said, like he said, that, she, that 
they moved that property into the building. But he seems to think that they actually didn't take the trailer or the truck. So I'm hoping that they call me back here and we can figure it out. The gentleman across the street said he saw people over here on Sunday. On Sunday? And he called me, I think the day before yesterday, said my trailer was here. So. Let's get back to the female officer in the car. Remember, she has yet to get out of the car. And remember her buddy, Brandon, who was talking to her earlier? Uh, it should have the VIN on it. The yeah. title should have the VIN. Uh, Brandon called me later and told me that she was a good family friend. And she straight up told him, Marilyn filed an abandoned title on his truck. Notice she didn't tell us anything. And she also told him she refused to get out of the car because we were filming. Here's the thing that really drives me nuts about officers. They will assert their authority. They will go beyond their authority in, in the aspect of threatening and lying. Remember this officer, Officer Waddle, who lied to me about trespassing? What I need to know is when I come down here to work tomorrow, is there going to be an issue? You told me I was trespassing. There's a trespassing order on me. I, was, I, was, I didn't say there was a Yes, you did. I recorded you. I, was, I have it I, in recording. Is it trailers. What do I... Am I allowed on the property to get my trailers? Yes, correct. Well, well, from the law standpoint... Trespassing. So I would be... So is there a trespassing order currently? I'm, t I'm, give I'm telling you... You're not allowed on the property. Did, so did she? So when we leave here, did she file a trespass order? Yeah. So there is a trespass order already filed. Do you, do you want me to fill out a no trespass letter for you? No, Can I you don't think I need. I just need to know: did she actually file one or right. not? You realize every officer has every legal right to film you. They're doing it on their chest. And by the way, you have every legal right to film any civil servant any officer at any time. Not only a legal right, I would say you have a responsibility because if that female officer goes away and goes, I don't like Jeremy Hales, she's gonna say anything she wants about Jeremy Hales and she has in the past. And so if I don't keep her accountable, if all the power's on one side, on her, on her camera, but I don't have anything on my camera, guess what? This is all the issues we have with police issues, with brutality, with over, it just goes on and on and on and on and on. Hey, if you're gonna be a civil servant, do your job and know you're going to be filmed. And when you are filmed, you're going to be online. This is the profession that you actually got yourself into. And if you can't do it appropriately, if you can't be respectful to people on the phone, then you need to change your job immediately. get my stuff out that all my stuff was in the trailer all i had to do was come down and get the trailer but i had flat tires they were going to let me thing to blow up the tires and so I just it was came agreed down that you were supposed to have all your stuff off here by the seven well the agreement was that i couldn't get my uh, stuff out because jeremy had stuff blocking the bay so jeremy was supposed to move his stuff and he never got moved because my bay is right over here where he had a bunch of stuff sitting so i couldn't have access to the place so that was my agreement with them was once jeremy got his stuff moved i could get my stuff out but I don't think they knew what was mine and what was his because, like I said, I think they think that trailer was his. Because they put all my stuff back in his bed. They took everything out of it and put all of it back in the room's bed. And they took dollies that were in this building to do that because my dolly yeast wasn't here, now it's in this building. And I don't even know if my stuff's still in here, if they took that too.
filed yesterday? And then yesterday he filed on 621. I thought you said it was supposed to be in court yesterday. He thought that when he was filed. Oh, so it was just filed yesterday. I have cooperated. I just couldn't get my stuff out. I started getting stuff out. I was taking it out the long way because I wanted to get my stuff out. It is two weeks past the date. I have a feeling that's probably the issue. But um, what I'll do is uh, I called Mr. Trusher. He's in a meeting. I'll wait for him to call me back or Ms. Raby calls the police department because she's seen us call repeatedly. Um, I will get a hold of you when I hear from them and let you know what I found out from them. And for some reason, um, you know, I, I can't verify that the property was in fact taken by them, then uh, I'll take that report and I'll let you know that as well. Okay. Um, Have you got the transfer, title transferred into your name? Well, at that point, then it's, it's Jeremy's. Jeremy was the last registered. I do have the title to it, but I don't. Uh, That's fine. I mean, it's good. It would, it, if she's correct, it would fall under Jeremy at that point. As far as the box truck is concerned, do you have the gentleman's name? I, I just know his first name's Brandon. Brandon? Do you have a um, phone number you call called me, so I should. And, it's, and you're saying that's his box truck? Yeah. I mean, it's in his name as far as you know? I wonder what his involvement. What's his... He was just he was just keeping the truck here. I, with whose permission, do you know? Mine. I was, I was Maryland's partner for years. That's what we were in litigation about. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay just absolutely amazes me. You're called for theft. You're called for theft of a trailer, theft of a box truck. And all of a sudden you transition everything to trespassing and you're not allowed to be on the property because you're reading a, wait, 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 that's a motion. They filed a motion saying Jeremy was in contempt of court. They told Brian it was court yesterday, that he was supposed to be in court yesterday. They told Brian he's in contempt of court. How many ways are you going to read a file for a motion wrong? Marilyn filed contempt of court on me because I'm not out. I filed contempt of court on her because she doesn't have the actual, the actual water on in time. The judge has not declared anything. And Worcester Police, you're not a judge. Let him know that uh, I'll, I'll, I'm contacting you, and then if for some reason I find something out that's not um, it's not covered by uh, a civil uh, issue, um, I will get a hold of him as well and let him know, you know, what I'm what I'm doing about his box truck and trying. I'll have to get details from him if that becomes necessary okay. in regards to that. You said it was on the other side of the building. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. So at this point, I mean, I don't really. I mean, we both suspect. It was, it's Maryland. It's There's no there. suspect there's stuff from this you know, building in this building. The, 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 and my stuff it was them that, that, that took the property from that took the property from here. It'll just be a question of whether or not you know, as long as as long as they acknowledge that they took the property, then we have to figure out if it's civil, which I'm assuming it will be. Um, I would I would obviously document it if in that case, and then it would be a court issue. Because I mean, if they took the property, I'm going to document that they they said they took the property. So that in fact, you know, means that. If, it's, if they didn't have a right to take it, they could be held uh, civilly liable as well. So, okay? Okay. All right. Wish I could do more, but it's not much we can do until we hear from them. Okay. okay. Thanks. Yeah. Are you leaving now? No, I gotta go. I'm gonna go in here and see if any of my stuff will miss building. Nothing. If they change the lock, how'd you guys get in? Thank you. She, she messed it up. I messed up the key. She I'm didn't sorry. know how the lock worked. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, you did what? I messed up the key. I didn't push it in all the way. My she had a key to the front door. <laughs> yeah, I have a key to the front door. Oh, you were able to get in the front door? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's my fault. I guess you guys probably shouldn't be in the building at this point based on what's going on. Yeah, that, that's what it sounds like. If they change the locks, you guys probably aren't allowed to go in. No, no, I have a key. Yeah, I have a key. They gave it to they us. They gave us a key. Oh, so you can go in and get the stuff out? Yeah. Yeah, but it says... How long, how long were you supposed to... You were supposed to already have the stuff out that was affected two weeks ago. Would you two just call the prosecutor and get real information? This is... Go ahead. That... After seven, you guys shouldn't get in here.
you guys shouldn't be in here anymore either. You're actually, my guess is you guys are probably trespassing. If well, I well, what we were told. Well, we haven't been here since the seven. Well, you're here today. Yeah, but we're just saying because. Let me talk to the attorney, okay? Um, we have, we I mean, my intention is my intention isn't to file trespassing charges on you guys, but I'm my guess is that after this is probably gonna you guys will have to leave when we leave. But we they never gave us water. can't file trespassing charges on a legal tenant, a legal tenant recognized by the court. There is no eviction. There can't be trespassing. Again, police officers overstepping their bounds of jurisdiction. Is that uh, the court order clearly says that you guys, as of the 7th, are supposed to be off the property, the key's supposed to be returned. Okay, and my guess is that anything after that time that's left in the building would become the property of Miss Raby, under most circumstances, okay? It's still in here for whatever reason. Um, my guess is maybe because there's probably still some litigation pending mm -hmm. in regards to that, which yeah. is fine. Yeah. We have nothing to do with that, but the, that court order clearly says that you guys have no right to be on the property after the 7th, okay? All right. Um, unless there would be something else to say you could come back or you had a police officer come with you. As far as today's concerned, obviously, I'm not going any direction. I'm not going anywhere, like, trying to file trespass charges on you guys. Okay, but we do have to document that you guys were here. That you, obviously, you still have the key that was supposed to be returned. Um, and, and, and that you obviously went in the building, okay? That's obviously not going to help any pending litigation in Mr. on Mr. Hale's behalf. It's not going to help him any. And, and, and inadvertent or not, it's not going to look good. But... Um, that's again, that's all stuff that you're going to be have to taken care of through civil court. Funny because you're the one that asked them to go in the building with you. Um, that's again, that's all stuff that you're going to be have to taken care of through civil court. Um, so you guys really don't have anything else you need to do. Um, when I leave, you guys are going to have to leave, unfortunately, as well. Okay. Um, <laughs> you guys have any, you guys don't have anything here you need to get right now, right? We're right. only here right. because okay. we got a call this morning that's fine. saying about the trailer okay. from Brian. I have okay. Jeremy on the phone. He wants to talk to you. Is that okay? You can put him on. You can put him on speakerphone for a second. That's fine. All right, Jeremy. Here he is. So, what can I do for you? I, I'd like to get. Since I'm not there right now, I'd like to get a better understanding of what's going on. If you don't mind sharing with me, please. Well, I mean, essentially, what happened is, is uh, uh, Brian came down here apparently to recover uh, his trailer, um, and uh, he realized his trailer was gone. So we're looking into that matter. Uh, during the course of that, obviously, uh, um, we saw the um, the litigation that was pending and read the court the, the, the court documents that show that, unfortunately, the, you know, the property was supposed to be vacated and the key was supposed to be returned. So I'm going to ask the, the, these two uh, uh, young folks here that are with you that they leave the property after I leave. They can't go back on the property. Um, and obviously they can't make entry into the property after this and it might be in the best interest for them to return the key to the court uh, Because I think that's what was supposed to happen based on what we read um, okay. so let, Let's pause just right there You're reading a court order that states that I agreed to remove myself from the property and my property from the property by June 7th based on following conditions. Number one, I was given a key. I've been locked out for over a year. Yeah. Number two, power was turned back on. And number three, that the water was running. Okay. And those conditions did not, did okay. not get cared for. All right. Carol, contempt of court. So if you're going to read, if you're going to read a court order as a judge, and I understand you're not a judge, you have to read it as the judge. She is in contempt of court, which I understand she filed contempt of court on me yesterday. But what I don't understand is why the Worcester Police Department is going, you're trespassing, but a judge recognizes me still as a legal tenant. Just because she filed contempt of court does not mean the judge said it's a contempt of court. Well, so I'm, I'm not... I don't appreciate I, the aspect of going, of the police telling my employees... You're, you're, you're trespassing when that's not your decision to make. That's well, the judge's decision to make. All right, that's fine. Um, based on the last court uh, document that was submitted to the court that we have access to, 
it says that, that you were supposed to be off the property and the key was supposed to be returned by the seventh. I understand that there were conditions that she didn't meet, uh, uh, and re that you're that arguing that she didn't meet, but the court has to, the court has to then go back and say, okay, now we're going to give you access to the property again because she didn't do what she was supposed to do, but that hasn't been done yet. So until that's done, technically you guys can't be on the property. That's according to the according to the court documents that are on file right now. That doesn't mean it won't change, but yeah. right now. And, and I'm gonna I'm gonna again again neither of us are lawyers and neither yes. of us are judges. But I'm a legal tenant, and I will say that I've been a landlord for almost 25 years. I know the landlord and tenant law. I'm a legal tenant until I'm legally evicted, and I'm not legally evicted. Okay, that's no, fine. I, so regardless of what the court order says, I'm still legal tenant. My tenants are still legal, legal employees of the Okay. Okay. And the contempt of courts, not the Worcester Police Department. And nor will trespassing orders be issued because they legally can't be issued because I'm still a legal tenant in the eyes of the law. Okay. That's fine. Um I would highly recommend you contact the court, you know, as soon as you get Marty, off the, Marty, get off the phone Marty, with me. Okay. Marty, as far as, as Marty. far as we're concerned though, when we leave today, I'm just going to ask that they simply leave, um, until there's some, something that's put on file that says they're welcome to come back. I, I, I'm not going to be present when there's something from the court saying they shouldn't, that you have no right to the property. According to the court, you have to be off the property and out of here by a certain date. And then you're back here after that time. It's. Well, I mean, again, so again, I would just say that you don't send anyone back till you have something up, uh, on on paper. Otherwise, that would be sure. that's going to be in your best interest. Sure, I can understand from your point of view saying that's the best interest. The court's going to be a little delayed in that. And again, I'm going to go if you're going to go by the court. One big headache after another. I encourage you contact Worcester Police Department. Let them know how you feel about their officers on the scene. This is getting crazier and crazier and it's nowhere done yet.